Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Engineering Mathematics DJ Ganit. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about Taylor and Maclaurian series. So we have already discussed about power series in the lecture series of series, and uh, this uh, Taylor series is nothing but special type of power series. We know that this type of series sigma a n x minus a raised to n summation n equal to 0 to infinity is known as power series in powers of x minus a so we are going to discuss that if we are given a function of x then how we can represent given function fx in a power series in powers of x minus a so in this topic we are given a function of x and we will expand this function in powers of x minus a and uh, we are having ready-made formulas for this uh, special series Taylor and Maclaurian series so first we discuss uh, what is Taylor series and Maclaurian series let f be a function with derivatives of all orders throughout some interval containing fixed point a as an interior point then the Taylor series generated by function f at x equal to a is in this form first term is value of function at x equal to a plus first derivative at x equal to a times x minus a plus second derivative at x equal to a divided by 2 factorial square of x minus a so you can imagine the next term uh, we can see here order of derivative is increasing and we are dividing by 2 factorial if we have second derivative if we have first derivative we are dividing by 1 factorial that is 1 so if we have third derivative we will divide by 3 factorial and power of x minus a will be 3 so all the terms are in this form nth derivative at a divided by n factorial times x minus a raised to n so this series in sigma notation is known as Taylor series generated by function f at x equal to a now x equal to a is arbitrary number for different points a we will have different series generated by function f so this a is known as center of the Taylor series and uh, if we consider this center a equal to 0 we will obtain Taylor series in powers of x here if we put a equal to 0 first term is f of 0 second term is f dash 0 into x third term is f double dash 0 by 2 factorial into x square and so on and uh, this we can write in sigma notation as sigma n equal to 0 to infinity nth derivative at a equal to 0 divided by n factorial times x raised to n so Taylor series with center 0 is given special name it is known as Maclaurian series so Maclaurian series is always having expansion of function in powers of x and uh, Maclaurian series is nothing but Taylor series at point a equal to 0 so whenever we are asked to find out Maclaurian series we will remember that center of the power series is 0 and all we have to do is we have to find out derivatives of function so whenever we have a question of finding Taylor series or Maclaurian series uh, we will try to write down first few terms of the series so at least we should write three or four non-zero terms and uh, for that we have to compute derivatives of order up to 3 or 4th so it is very easy to find out the Taylor series generated by given function f at a given point now one more thing that if uh, we find out Taylor series of function suppose Taylor series of function fx in powers of a in powers of x minus a or with center a is f and a divided by n factorial x minus a raised to n so here 
this is defined for different values of x so for different values of x we will have different series of numbers on this side and uh, we must have a question that whether these two will be equal or not so this is not always equal your power series is convergent to fx for some values of x or it may not be convergent to fx for other values of x so we will not write equality every time sometimes we will have equality for some values of x and sometimes we will not have equality for other values of x so if this power series converges for values of x in some interval say from minus r to r then it will converge to function fx at all those points which are in this interval of convergence so we will not focus on this uh, convergence right now our focus is recently in that how to obtain taylor series or maclaurin series of given function and for that we can simply remember this formula so we consider one question on taylor series find the taylor series generated by function fx equal to 1 by x at point a equal to 2 so here center of the series is 2 so we have to find out taylor series in powers of x minus 2 we have to find out this uh, expansion of this function in powers of x minus 2 so first thing we have to do is we calculate a value of function at given point fx is 1 by x so first term will require the value of function at point 2 therefore f of 2 is 1 by 2 then we write down uh, first few derivatives f dash x derivative of 1 by x is minus 1 by x square and we will require derivative at this fixed point which is minus 1 by 2 square that is minus 1 by 4 then second derivative so this is going to be derivative of x 1 by x square which is minus 2 divided by x cube or we can uh, differentiate 1 over x square using this uh, pow power rule for derivative this is going to be minus 2 times x raised to minus 2 minus 1 so that is minus 2 by x cube and uh, this is going to be 2 divided by x cube therefore second derivative at point 2 is equal to 2 divided by 2 raised to 3 that is 2 by 8 which is 1 by 4 and we can compute one more derivative f triple dash x this is equal to 2 as it is derivative of x cube is minus 3 divided by x raised to 4 so this is now minus 6 divided by x raised to 4 therefore third derivative at point 2 is equal to minus 6 divided by 2 raised to 4 2 raised to 4 is 16 and we can cancel out 2 so we have minus 3 by 8 okay, so this is enough we will get uh, 4 non-zero terms and uh, this is in continuation and so on so now we write down the formula for taylor series at point a equal to 2 now Taylor series of fx at point a equal to 2 is f of a that is a equal to 2 so we directly put a equal to 2 value of function at 2 first derivative at 2 into x minus 2 plus second derivative at point 2 divided by 2 factorial into x minus 2 square plus third derivative at point 2 divided by 3 factorial x minus 2 raised to 3 and so on we have obtained derivatives up to third order so now we substitute all these values here value of function at 2 is 1 half so we write down 1 by 2 
second derivative at point 2 is minus 1 by 4 so we have minus 1 by 4 into x minus 2 second derivative at point 2 is 1 by 4 so here we write 1 by 4 and uh, here we have 1 by 2 factorial square of x minus 2 third derivative at 2 is minus 3 by 8 so we write minus 3 by 8 we have 1 by 3 factorial x minus 2 raised to 3 and so on so again we simplify this this is going to be minus 1 by 4 x minus 2 plus here we will have 1 by 8 2 factorial is 2 and this is x minus 2 square here we will have 3 into 2 so 3 will cancel out with this 3 and we are left with 16 so we have this minus 1 by 16 times x minus 2 raised to 3 okay so fine this is the taylor series of given function 1 by x at a equal to 2 and we can observe the pattern of coefficients here here we can rewrite this as x minus 2 divided by 4 that is 2 square plus x minus 2 square divided by 8 that is 2 raised to 3 and x minus 2 raised to 3 divided by 16 which is 2 raised to 4. So this is the Taylor series of function fx equal to 1 by x at a equal to 2 and uh, we can easily obtain this we just have to compute few derivatives and we write down those values of derivatives in this uh, formula of taylor series so this question was asked in gtu summer 2019 exam so you should remember this formula of taylor series and by just computing the derivatives we are able to derive the taylor series at a given point so this is all about this session I hope you like it. Thank you.